Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis on big mega cap stocks. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon and now let's get right into it guys all right so what's happening in the market apple down two and a half percent it was down three percent now market pricing in a lot of things first of all we do have a seasonality right now that market actually gets a pullback second thing market probably pricing in trump becoming president again especially what happened recently that's one thing and then on top of that he actually made a comment uh, to Jay Powell that you know don't cut the rates right now so that's another thing causing this market to drop and not to mention so many other things going on we cannot you know look at all the news here we do technical analysis here in this channel now a lot of things are happening and that is why we're seeing a pullback and the main thing far as technical goes I've been talking about it for maybe two three weeks now that market is at extreme level you know we might get a day where we see a pullback on queues or spy two three percent we had that few days ago market rallied back up and what happened today even a bigger sell up so you know a lot of people are actually buying these dips as the market comes down they think that you know again it's gonna go back up again it's gonna go back up and i'm gonna make money this is bull market i'm just gonna buy all the dips and what happened today a lot of retail traders investors they got trapped because they bought calls early in the morning thinking about oh i'm gonna buy it and make money and market just kept going down and down and pretty much closing at the low of the day now what's causing this is another thing here and that is these mega cap stocks everything going down chips semis all going down big names like apple down two and a half percent trading actually gap down here on apple and uh Apple was not able to go back up and close this gap to 32.33. So here on Apple stock, you can see we got a bounce off of this 13 day moving average right here, 226. That's going to be a line the same for tomorrow. And underneath that level, you're going to see a flush down to 221.55 to 220 right here. That should be a strong support in a higher low. Now, if Apple actually moving back up, then watch out for the resistance to break 230. And if we can get over that, then watch out for this gap on top 232.33. And then we can talk about possibly another brand new all time high. And you can see the Bollinger Band expanded up to 240. So it can go there if this thing can get above 230 again. But below 230, we got a doji indecision candle today. If this thing dumps under 226, you're going to see a flush easily down to this gap right here at 221.55 down to even this critical support 220. On Microsoft is down 1.33%, so Microsoft was down also, I think, almost $10 on the day. And you can see, we talked about it in my last video, how Microsoft can actually hold 443. And look at this magnetic support, guys. Just like right here, this thing is holding 443. Now, also, you can see where we actually got the bounce. And we talked about it in my last video also, that watch out for the lower Bollinger Band as a support, which is sitting near 440 and we got a bounce off of that level and now it's holding 443 now we got a gap on top that's going to act as a resistant right here and that's going to be around 446.66 uh, and over that watch out for 451 and that could be a lower high and then we could see continuation to the downside we do have this gap at 432.82 now going into tomorrow's session microsoft can hold 443 then watch out for this gap to get filled 446.66 and then 451 over that 454.20 underneath 443 watch out for the support right here 440 436 50 day moving average and then this gap 432.82 on amd it's down over 10 percent so on a stock like amd down 10 percent 18 bucks gone today guys that is massive now not only trump causing all this uh you know massive sell-offs uh, there are some uh, things coming out from Biden as well, you know, uh, tightening, uh, selling overseas, uh, especially chips. And that is why you're seeing a lot of, you know, money 
coming out of uh, these uh, big names, AMD, and especially NVIDIA took a massive uh, hit today. So we can see more continuation to the downside. It was looking extremely bullish. It was flagging, but you can see, I mean, how these technicals, and especially the catalyst, work around a stock. It was flagging right here, everything looked good. Even yesterday we had this red hammer candle and what happened today? A gap down, massive gap down. Uh, started with 4% and ending with pretty much closing at the low of the day down over 10%. So AMD, until we can actually get over 162 above this trend line and above 164, definitely I'm not seeing that much upside in the short term. Now, the next critical support on AMD will be down here, guys. That's going to be around 155 to 154. And if that gives up, down here, 148. AMD can clear 162 and then especially 164. You guys remember the struggle here, right? 164, it was struggling for many, many days. And then we saw that breakout to the upside. It was wedging right here. And now you can see it's pulling right back in. So this was pretty much a fake breakout, especially the news just killed it i mean this thing had a nice you know uh, uh flag type pattern and now it's nowhere near that right looking extremely bearish and it can go down even more so in the short term definitely amd can uh, come down even more possibly down to 155 154 even 148 once we get over 164 then we can talk about more upside possibly going up to 20 day moving average 167.76 172 and then this gap 174.53 on meta it's down 5.68 percent so meta also taking a hit from uh trump uh he's not banning uh tiktok and uh, you know it, it's not really bad but if you think about it like you know meta went up because uh trump went out and when trump uh, actually was in the office where was meta we all know that right this thing was coming down especially back in uh, 2022 88 bucks right in front of me it was happening right after closing and then what happened guys from there i mean 542 in just how many months like 15 to 18 months massive massive rally so now if this thing pulls back which is totally healthy i mean multiple times hitting all-time highs and now giving up some of the gains i mean not even 100 bucks you know 542 it's not even 442 yet so not even 100 bucks and people are already panicking let the stock come down if you want a good opportunity to buy the dip let it come down always in this market when you see a big dip that is what you want you don't want the market to just go up every day that is not healthy for especially retail traders investors because you'll be chasing and buying you know, pretty much at the high of the day or high of the month or all-time highs and guess what at some point they're gonna do this uh, rug pull and then what your position is underwater immediately so Healthy pullback and definitely can go down even more. And you can see, I mean, we do have earnings and that is why cannot really buy this dip and go big. If you're trying to buy this, buy small amount, very small amount. It's extremely oversold now trading below lower Bollinger Band, 10 bucks below lower Bollinger Band right now here on Meta. And now if this thing wants to get back up, it needs to get over 470. And right now, the next support right here at 452, that's going to be critical support here on Meta. Why it's holding right here? Well, it's extremely oversold, can't go any lower. So it was just trying to hold right here at 462, way outside, way, way under lower Bollinger Band, guys. Now, over 470, we could see some sort of an earnings run up back up to this gap, 485 and then even 490. So the range here now on Meta, watch out for the support 452 and the resistance at 470 and over 470, watch out for continuation to possibly close this gap. And I was wondering how this thing can actually close this gap at 508. But this morning, especially with this mega gap down, I mean, it's out of the window now, it's a long shot, 508. Unless they beat earnings, maybe they announce buybacks again, then watch out. I mean, definitely going back up to 500 plus again. So I think it just, you know, actually pricing in earnings because last few earnings they beat and they came out with uh, especially uh, buybacks. And that is why this thing was flying. So watch out, guys. 452, you're lying the sand and the resistance at 470. And then this gap 
can get filled right here at 485 and possibly up to even 490. Over 490, we can talk about more upside going back up to maybe even this gap 508 on Meta. On Amazon, stock is down 2.64%. So Amazon, I actually had calls on Monday and I sold my calls yesterday. Unfortunately, yesterday I was busy, so I did not cover these big names. And a lot of you guys are commenting, hey, you got 160 likes, why not making videos? Well, that is why, guys, not because you guys are doing a great job and I really appreciate your support. I mean, I was asking for 100 likes. We're getting 160 likes and I hope you guys continue that way so I can make these videos pretty much every day. Now, I was saying that I got calls Monday on Amazon. 195, this thing paid. I mean, we went over the money. I sold pretty much right here at the top. Imagine holding this morning. I mean, this thing took a mega dump off all the way down to... Uh, 185 and now it's holding 187 this red line 50 day moving average as a support into closing so as long as amazon can hold 187 watch out for a bounce back up to 190 and over 190 watch out for this gap 192.24 and if this thing gets a rejection from here and possibly from 193.55 even 20 day moving average that could be a lower high and then we can put in a lower low and that might be going under 187, going down to 185, and then even 182.51, lower Bollinger Band, and then 180. So the trend is definitely not up anymore. It's not looking bullish at all. And we could see some more continuation to the downside. But in the short term, we might get some sort of a relief rally, a lower high back up to 190, maybe even 192.24 up to this gap on Amazon. On Google, stock is down 1.5%, so Google also taking a beating down to 181, and you can see Google actually coming down and possibly retesting this high right here, and that's going to be around 180 to 181, and so far that is holding, so is this just a retest or something more than that, right? We need to wait and find out. As long as Google can hold right here at 180, that's going to be a dip buying zone, and I'm not talking about going long, guys. Maybe overnight swing trade, something uh, like a small position, maybe even a day trade. As long as Google is above 180, you can play that. But if this thing breaks under 180, that is when it's going to look like Amazon. It's going to look like Meta. And this thing can flush easily down to 179, 50-day moving average. And below that, definitely coming down to 176 and then possibly coming down even more, down to 170. And we do have this massive gap down here. So don't forget about this. You know, things can change really quickly in this market. You guys saw it. One day down 3%, especially NASDAQ 100. Now to the upside. As long as the support can hold, where this thing can go? Definitely back up to 185, 20-day moving average and 5-day moving average. And if this thing clears that, then watch out for a move up to 187.52. And over that, we're out of the woods and this thing going back up to all-time highs again. On Tesla stock is down 3.14%. So Tesla taking a beating again. And if you look at my screen, it's struggling right here to break above 258. You can see multiple rejection right here at 258. And even today, getting a rejection from 258, pulling back. And now it's trying to hold 5 the moving average, this blue line. 249 so that is gonna be your line the sand right now it's not above 249 but you know it's really close to 249 so i would say 249 watch tomorrow if we can recover can hold 249 then watch out for continuation and possibly a breakout over 258 can take tesla all the way up to not only 265 271 up to even 287 and then from there even 300 possible now unlike amd nvidia Apple, Microsoft, it's not looking too bad. So Tesla, still positive. If this thing can actually hold anywhere from 231 to 240, and we're just bouncing back and forth, we might see another breakout, and Tesla can go all the way up to 300. Now, Tesla comes back, takes out 240. In that case, watch out for a move down to 231.30 to close this gap. That should be a strong support also. And below that, we do have rising 20-day moving average, around 224 right here to the upside 258 breaks tesla can hold right up here maybe some consolidation definitely we will see tesla going up to 300 and we do have earnings coming out tomorrow night from netflix and this thing is down 1.35 percent and i think there is a huge expected move on netflix and uh, i can look at it guys i'll show you guys 
what's coming on Netflix. Now you can see Netflix down on the day 1.35%. We do have a hammer type candle, a red candle, but it's actually trading below lower Bollinger Band and also trading below all these moving averages, including 50 day moving average, which is sitting at 647.46. So it's trying to hold right here, but looks like already came down to 639 and might be going down to 630. So I can give you too much hopes on this one for tomorrow. If you're trading, there is going to be really high IV on Netflix. So I would suggest that, you know, wait until earnings and let it come out, let it digest. And then if you want to go and play Netflix, you can. Right now, it's really risky. If you're playing Netflix, this thing can move easily, you know, 50, 60, 100 bucks with earnings. But you can watch the support definitely tomorrow, 630. But if this thing breaks and holds right here, I would say 651 to 652. Over that, we might see a rally back up to this gap. 673 that could happen here on netflix if that's not happening we cannot get above uh, right here uh 651 to 652 these are uh, two three moving averages and lower bollinger band then watch out for continuation to the downside the next stop and the strong support 630 on netflix and we'll talk about it tomorrow night once the earnings comes out from netflix guys so we do have some earnings coming out tomorrow and that can cause lots of volatility here in this market, especially TSM. That's going to cause a lot of movement on semi stocks. Then we have Domino's, another big company. And on top of that, Netflix coming out right after closing today. This thing also caused a lot of volatility within uh, semi stocks, ASML. This thing dumped, I think, over 100 bucks. We actually had earnings from uh, J&J also Discover. So lots of earnings and even Friday, we do have earnings coming out from uh, American Express. So some of these names are releasing earnings this week, but I think next week is even bigger. Now also weekly expected moves right here. You can see on Netflix, what was that, $57. Uh, and if that is a uh, two sigma move, it's gonna go over 100. So huge, huge move on Netflix. So you need to wait and see you know what the stock does tomorrow night and how they will uh, digest that earning if it's bad or if it's good you know how that thing actually uh, goes up or goes down and from there you know if everything lines up you want to take a position at a critical support or you want to short it uh, where this thing is up so much you know you can take a position on netflix but right now going into tomorrow if you're playing netflix well nobody can help you i mean only if you're lucky you can make money otherwise i don't like to play these earnings especially when you know there's like really high iv on these stocks options are just you know they just get toasted you know if it's not moving you're gonna pay and if it's moving and it's going against you your call or put is gonna go to zero guys so be careful playing options on netflix on NVIDIA stock is down 6.62%, so a lot of bulls on NVIDIA stock just flying and now they're nowhere to be found. And this was coming at some point because NVIDIA cannot just go up every day. Now we talked about it even on my last video and you can see how well these levels are working. I had this trend line right here. We broke under with this big bearish engulfing candle. We had this bear flag, did not really play out. This thing went higher, pretty much broke out of this flag, went higher up to 136. And then we got, you can call this a double top. You can call this a lower high. And from there, I gave you guys a range on my last video that one thing is going to happen. There is a range on Nvidia stock 126 and to the upside 136. And one of these range breaks, you're going to see massive move. And what happened this morning? We actually gapped down on NVIDIA stock and this thing continued all the way down to, what is it, 117 almost. And now barely trying to hold 118, this critical support. Now you can see this trend line also breaking down right here. We broke this trend line, went back up right here, rejection, and now it's breaking down under this trend line also. Now barely holding this support 117.85. What's going to happen if this support actually breaks and it becomes a resistant here on Nvidia stock? You're going to see more selling. Definitely 107, that's gonna be the next stop below this support. And that's a long way down, guys. That's another, you know, uh, 10, $11 to the downside. Now to the upside, Nvidia can hold right here. Maybe this is actually a double, triple bottom, whatever you wanna call it. 
and we get some sort of a rally back up to close this gap that's going to be around 124 to 125 and we go over 126 then we can talk about more upside right now we got this double top that's one thing we also got a lower high and now we actually made a new low today taking out this low this low and even these lows down here so you can clearly see we came down and made a new low here on nvidia stock and if that continues the next stop 107 and that's going to be also a critical support on nvidia stock and anything below this trend line is not good because uh, look at what happened right here we broke this uptrend and this thing flushed i mean from 140 down to uh, 118 right so if this thing breaks this uh, this trend line can easily come down 107 maybe even down here to close this gap around 96 bucks so nvidia i mean it's on no man's land and if this thing is landing uh, somewhere like 107 that's going to happen if this support actually breaks and we cannot hold this on nvidia 117.85 that's going to become a big resistance right here and that is why even today uh, bulls they were actually able to buy and actually hold this stock uh, around 118 they don't want to give up the support because if that gives up this will become a big resistant and nvidia can dump easily down to 107 so watch out you know nvidia already made a decision and looks like it's going down even more so if this thing continues this support needs to break 117.85 we get some sort of a relief you know bounce maybe a gap fill then watch out for the resistant right here now there will be resistant at 121 this trend line and then 123 up to this gap 125 and then 126 and that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you so much for watching and let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section guys